What is up guys, G Sanity here and welcome to another former squad builder. This could be the Inter Milan Champions League one is 2010 squad. But guys, look at the bio server Ultimate Team Coins, go check out FIFCoinTrades.com, link will be in the description below, and uh, they're very fast and reliable. So this team uh, is actually really, really fun to play with, and uh, guys, make sure to remember to comment below uh, what squad you want me to see next, or want me to do next, sorry, uh, whether it be an ex winners squad, an ex squad, or anything really, and make sure to comment below, and I'll choose the best one. So this squad, uh, we're going to do a quick overview of the actual of the team itself, and then go into the gameplay, uh, but we're going to start things off with an inform, and that's going to be Julio Cesar, and uh, very, very good on, on this game, but unfortunately his inform did not cut it for me as much as normal, uh, because 115,000 coins, so it's quite expensive. And then we go on to Mycom, who is 84 rated, and he's got 85 pace and an absolute god on this game. Uh, so strong, so quick, and he's really good at defending as well. But he does cost me 61,000 coins, uh, so it's quite expensive, but overall, he's one of my favourite right backs in the game. Uh, and uh, after, like, this isn't the main section, the, the bit where I to talk about individual players uh, will be straight after this in the, uh, in the gameplay part. And then we have Lucio. At centre back, and uh, he only left recently. Uh, but on the game, he has got a high attacking work rate, I believe. So it did not work as well. And uh, we got also we've got in for Walter Samuel, who is okay, a very, very good defensively. Don't get me wrong there, uh, but he hasn't got the pace to keep up with the majority of strikers. And then we've got Christian Chivu at left back, and he actually gets seven chemistry, I believe. Um, actually, I think he gets seven. Well, let me just check. Uh, yeah, he gets seven chemistry uh, after that glitch, and um, I don't know why, but apparently he does uh, out of position. And then we're gonna have Javier Zanetti. There he is. And uh, he's been there, I think, all of his career now. And he's an absolute legend in Inter Milan's eyes. And then we're going to have Cambiasso, who is CDM partner. And um, these two, they, they've been there a very, very long time now as a combination. And uh, they're very, very good on the team as well. Our, our cam is going to be Goran Pan, uh, Pandev. He now plays for Napoli, I believe. Yep, and um, he this is, the, this is the exact team that started in the Champions League final in 2010. Uh, where they beat Bayern Munich 2-0, uh, thanks to two goals from Diego Melito. But our centre forward is going to be a Wesley Schneider. This is the Inter Milan version just there for chemistry reasons. And uh, then to finish off in the midfield, we're going to have Samuel Eto'o. And um, th I think the formation they played was a 4-3-3, maybe. Uh, but the 4-2-3-1 worked perfectly for the positions. And uh, Eto'o himself, he has recently just got in form. He'll be out after this video, I assume, or just before. And uh, I unfortunately, I'd done this video before he was released. Um, and the final player of this squad is going to be informed Diego Melito. And uh, he was the guy that scored both goals in the Champions League final in 2010. Uh, Inter Milan were coached by Jose Mourinho. And uh, on the bench, we have Balotelli, Stankovic, Muntari, Mariga, Mota, Santon and Mancini. Uh, but guys, I'm going to the gameplay part now. So bear in mind uh, that I'll be talking about the rest of the players then. So I'll see you in a second. I'm not bad, guys. As you can see on the screen, there is the gameplay. And the very first goal we're coming against is a sick five of the back Bundesliga team. Uh, very, very sweaty. We start things off with a bang. And that is Goran Pandev uh, with his weak foot, I believe. And his long shot is absolutely incredible in this game. Had a few cracks with him. And a uh, majority of him has troubled the goalkeeper, actually. Um, we start things off 2-0 we'll up within 13 minutes. Going uh, really, really strong. And Michael, unfortunately, hitting the post there. We should have scored the rebound, but Eto dragged that wide. But I'm going to talk about the, uh, the players a little bit more now. And uh, as to why I've done this team as such an app. Um, so this team, this uh, this Inter Milan squad, uh, they won the Champions League uh, back in 2010 uh, when Mourinho was managing them, and uh, they beat Bayern Munich in the final 2-0 uh, thanks to two goals from Diego Melito, who was actually their top scorer that season. And uh, also they well, that season they actually won the treble, uh, which was the Serie A, the Coppa Italia, and the Champions League. So they won two massive trophies. And uh, I, the, I don't know if the Coppa Italia is actually the equivalent of like the FA Cup or anything. Uh, but nevertheless, they won three trophies in one season, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, but guys, I do want to see comments below of, of uh, teams you want me to do. Uh, so maybe similar to this one, of teams that have won stuff in the past, uh, that I could have a, have a go at this squad. Um, Eto, though, everyone knows what how, like, there's been a lot of myths in that going around at the moment that Eto's uh, better on six chemistry, uh, stuff like that. And he played very, very well, I'm not going to lie. And we hit the post for the third time this match. Uh, I believe Michael hit it twice before, though. Uh, we grab a late goal there to make it 4-3 with Diego Melito. Uh, who on this game, his inform is very, very good. But straight after, Grindigan actually equalised. With a, it's a good, very good strike into the corner. Uh, unfortunately, he says I could not get his hand on it. Uh, we went to penalties. I was winning 4-3. And uh, all my penalties managed to go in with Cambiasso getting the winner there. And um, he was very really good in the centre of the park with uh, Zanetti. Very, very defensive. Uh, but we did win that game and we actually dominated. 20 shots, 14 on target. And I'll take that win any day of the week. The second game we're coming against is another fight with the back team. God damn, this one's Brazilian. And a lot stronger in my opinion. We start things off again with a bang. Samuel Eto'o within five minutes grabbing himself a goal. Uh, very, very good on this game. And I, I'm 
I'm I kind of annoyed that his inform came out today because I would have put him in the squad otherwise. Uh, but Wellington does equalise there. For some reason, when you bring the goalkeeper out, they decide to run back in a straight line and cut, not cover the goal at all. Uh, but Eto again from Cam banging himself a goal uh, on the sixth chemistry muck. And uh, Mycom, I, I was on about how good I like him, and that's a great strike. Uh, poor goalkeeper, you could say, but nevertheless, it went in from the Manchester City right back. And he's on seven chemistry as well. Uh, he was my default penalty taker, so I decided to let him take it, uh, just for just because I could. And uh, he does score that, and we got some unlucky attempts this game, but that one included from Pandev. Uh, but this guy's uh, technique, not technique, um, it's not this one, I believe it was the game before. Uh, all the guy was doing was over top balls, which is quite uh, frustrating. But he pulls it back to 4-3, and this was, uh, I was quite shitting it here. Uh, but then straight away, I do go through with Wesley Schneider, and he is phenomenal in this game. I believe he's got five-star weak foot, and his passing is insane. Um, we did win that game, two wins out of two, and uh, this, again, I'll, I'll reiterate it again, this squad was absolutely fantastic to play with. The final squad we're coming against is a, has got an informing Barbo and some very good players, but we do get another headed goal from a corner, and that is Walter Samuel this time. Him and Luso were really good, but that strike from uh, Schneider there, if that one in, Good day, him. Um, we like we had a spell. This guy was like on the back foot throughout the whole thing. Uh, but guys, remember to drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. And uh, if you want more of these, make sure to again drop, um, like, let me know in the comments and stuff. Uh, but I will be live streaming tomorrow, maybe tonight, um, and I'm gonna be sorting out what's happening through the league. So don't worry, that'll be back very soon, as it is the Easter holiday. So we'll be doing some double uploads, uh, a lot of streaming, and hopefully uh, bringing guys the best content that I can bring. Um, but we are 3-1 up here, and Eto does uh, get unlucky there. We scored the rebound, and this inevitably means a rage quick, guys, to end the episode. So thank you for watching the video, and please drop a like, please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching the video.